What's going on guys? Lambo here. I'm going to go over the comparison from uh, the old Giants Editor 7.1 or 7.2. I have that update. I never actually downloaded the 7.2 update. Uh, I'm going to go through and tell you exactly what happens uh, with the new updates and also show you the converting tool they did in 8.1, but it looks like it's just for maps. So we'll go to that in a second. First, we'll start with 7.2.0. Um, you can now drag and drop in the scenograph. That's pretty freaking sweet. I uh, added content menu shows, selected wireframe on and off. Okay. Added frame scale setting to prevent clo close zooming of object when pressing F. Okay. Hidden objects are grayed out in the scenograph. The visibility equals false. Uh, grouping objects, control G or place in a new group in the scenograph position at the last selected object. That's cool. Camera panning and flame rotate moves the focus point accordingly. Fix the interactive placement of spleen control and edit points. Fix pop-up of context menu while in paint mode. Sweet. 8.0, they added the post FX panel, added scripts for FS19, fixed, fixed terrain sculpting erosion, fixed minor scenograph. So the 8.1 now, it uh, added basic conversion of map mods only. It will do the... Uh, the shaders, like the emissive light shader, the vehicle shader, uh, there's like a flag shader it converted for me. It will do that uh, for you, but it will not adjust and like, it will not adjust your mods XML. I'll show you everything here just momentarily like a printout of what it did for me. Um, let's see here. So added basic conversion for map mods for, from 17 to FS19. Converge terrain painting to new format with combined layers basically allows you to do all the new terrain and foliage layers. Added light scattering flag to run or scattering flag to sun. Adjust max map XML, increase item XML. Add farmland info layer, replaces custom shaders, improve foliage paint panel, improve layer painting. This is nothing about doing actual normal mods. So now we're going to crack open, um, I tried to convert the jet ski, and just to make this a little bit easier to read, we're going to open it up in paint dot. We're going to open it up in here. So when I went to go convert, make it big so you guys can read it, I went to go convert the ski do uh, snowmobile, and it, Here's like the mods and stuff that it rejected. I'll walk you through kind of what this means when you, uh, you're going to see something different when you get your, uh, your giant editor open and you do the steps in the video that is following after this. So textures, light beam shader, it did successfully change the light beam shader. Uh, it didn't touch the mod disk uh, at all. So you still have to do your normal changes. So the mod disk that to work for 19 uh, scripts. It didn't work with the passenger script here. So that Lua is not usable right now. Emissive light shaders, it fixed that. The inspect Lua did not work. I did not change it. It did change the number shaders. So like for the, for the dash and stuff, so you can see the RPMs, that's the number shader. Set animation event, it didn't even touch that Lua. Didn't mess with the toggle animated parts, Lua it changed, it didn't do anything. Uh, so the vehicle shader dirt, it didn't touch either. You should just convert that to the new FS17 shader inside the data folder. The work state Lua, that's another, it's a Lua file that didn't work. Um, so it, it looks like this new update is not allowing you to actually convert anything yet. Uh, it's all hand jammed at this moment. So everything has to be completely rewritten if you want to convert a model. Uh, completely rewritten, retextured, tons and tons of stuff. So we're just going to keep on doing our thing with the tutorials to try to help you out. And it looks like the vehicle shader dirt. No, it didn't even touch the trailer. Uh, didn't edit that XML file. Emissive shader. It did fix the emissive additive shader. Success. It did not. The attacher I install. These are flashers. Didn't copy that. It didn't copy the indoor sound Lua or my flying Lua. So you can't. We can't fly. No placeable fire. 
basically no any special scripts it's not going to work it did update this vehicle shader um textures vehicle shader again yeah and didn't even touch the jet ski unable to parse xml file so uh, that's basically everything that it's going to do when you go to use the feature here when you open up make sure i got the right giants editor for you Go to here, beta, nope, not uninstall. I want the editor. So when you open up the new 8.10 beta, you click right here, click open mod. And I uh, recorded it when I was at the coffee shop because you got to have the internet in order to use the cloud service to convert a map. Uh, so I'll hit that play on that video. And when it's all done, make sure to slap that like for me, guys. And I'll be back with another tutorial tomorrow. Thanks for watching.